This is Eric. So the new melee weapons in the Shadowed Throne are pretty handy, huh? Well, maybe you think differently, but I like them. The shovel is junk, obviously, but getting out on the main street and grabbing the spike bat is a nice place to start early in the game. As usual with these zombie maps, if there's a unique weapon, there's probably a powered up version someplace. Which, yeah, that's the premise of this video. Acquiring the smuggler's bat is necessary for completing the easter egg, as it's one of the weapons you have to insert into those three slots near the big door by the church. But here is the main thing. It's also a pretty sweet weapon. Like and subscribe if you feel inclined, guys. So how do you know actually get it? Okay, so there are a few requisites. First, you need to get the Wunderbuss, the map's wonder weapon, which is necessary to access a lot of the secret stuff on the map. It's kind of an ordeal on its own to get it, but I've got a separate video for how to do it. But I'll give you a quick rundown on how to get the wonder bus right now. Okay, so number one, find radio, get numbers. Number two, find map and frequencies list. Find dot on map, match name with dot, use numbers to get frequencies. Number three, use frequencies on radio. Yes. Hello? I need to speak with your Number four, find box of flares in plaza. Attack it to launch them. Five, get battery in museum or cabaret. Six, heavy melee attack a sizzler to remove rod. Seven, use battery on generator in apartment. Go inside, retrieve battery, make wonder bus, shoot wonder bus a generator. Eight, enjoy. Okay, so there's the Wonder Bus. Now you're gonna shoot the cash register at the same room you built the Wonder Bus in. If you hit it properly, it'll open up. Look at the underside of the money drawer, and you'll see a picture with some numbers on it. It's a little hard to read, but there's a slash separating the numbers. Those are your frequencies for the radio. Go to the radio again in the main street and tune that sucker to these numbers. If you did that right, yeah, you should get a message from the smuggler. He needs help, apparently, so now it's time for things to get a lot more janky. So step one for helping out the smuggler. First, you need to find him. He's in the sewer, apparently, under a gas tile. Like, it's literally a tile that says gas on it. You'll need to hit it that tile with a grenade to open it up. You can find that tile in the plaza section of the map. It's near the entrance, like the connection to the cabaret in that area and it's by the BAR purchase station. Okay, so once you hit the tile with a grenade, the tile should slide to the side, revealing a hole. So now the smuggler wants a gun. And no, he won't tell you what gun he wants. You'll just have to guess. So with the weapon equipped, hold down square X while looking at the hole. This passes whatever gun you have equipped to him. You'll just have to keep guessing on what to give him until he gets something that he can use. Anything you pass down is gone for good, so just keep that in mind. If he says, I don't have the right ammo, then it's a no-go. It's no good. And if you get it right, you'll get a prompt that you complete the objective and the smuggler will thank you. And no, you can't get your guns back. It doesn't make any sense. So, now you got to wait a bit. Just because I think for the game rules, you have to wait a little bit for anything to happen with this before you can continue. So, wait two rounds before continuing. At this point, you'll have to find the smuggler again. This time, he's under a tile in front of the cabaret entrance in the main street. Yeah, find another gas panel, but this time you'll have to use a boomer zombie to blow it up, like one of those weird Siamese twin zombies. Look at that bunch of explosives. And just be patient. Wait for one of those suckers to wander over to it and shoot him. You have to be very precise. Like, literally, you have to be, he has to be on top of the tile while you're shooting him for it to work. But here's the thing, you don't actually have to blow him up. The trigger seems to be the boomer dying over the tile, not necessarily exploding. So it might actually be easier to just use the wonderbus to shock a boomer dead right over the tile without any explosions, just so you can make sure that he's in the right spot. Okay, now that you've, if you've done that right, if it's all good, if everything 
the stars have aligned, then he wants some jolts. Just drop some jolts down where the hole is a few times until he won't accept anymore. You can just pick them up off the ground if they're not going in anymore. Yeah, just pass them the same way you drop some jolts for a teammate. Uh, if done right, you'll get another objective complete pop-up. Now that he's happy, he's got your money and 50 guns you passed down to him, so all you have to do is go to his place and collect your reward. Okay, but where is it? Go back to the apartment basement area with the Wonder Bus Crafting Station. Then melee the door in there three times. It's a little overboard for a knock, but whatever. Oh, there's a big guy attack. Find the Wonder Bus Siphon, a great weapon for these guys, but do whatever you want to get rid of him. Anyway, the doesn't look like the smuggler made it. This is some seriously shocking stuff, guys. But hey, free bat. Grab that sucker and get out. You're free to just go ahead and jam it into the depression over by the, uh, the church. As you don't actually lose the weapon when you do that. And that's one step of the easter egg done. Oh, and you get some extra utility out of the bat. Get the increased melee damage perk from the machine in the museum. Its long range attack gets a lot better once you've done that. And there we go. That's it for the smuggler's bat. Thanks so much for watching.